Hi, so I'm John Bolger. I'm a consultant ophthalmologist here at My Eye Clinic. I have a special interest in refractive surgery and that includes myopia. In the last few years, I've become interested in myopia because it's on the increase among children. And myopia or short-sightedness or sometimes called nearsightedness is where the eye gets too long. When we're born, we have a perfect algorithm that controls eye growth. But 21st century living is somehow corrupting this. And we're winding up with eyes that are growing too long. And that means the eye then becomes short-sighted. Now of itself, that's not a big problem. But unfortunately, one of the children explained it to me in this way and I thought it was very good. If you're trying to make a 10 inch pizza, you've got the right amount of dough, make goes well. With the same dough, you're trying to make a 15 inch pizza, you're gonna wind up with holes and stretching. And that's what can happen to the retina if the eye gets too long. Later in life, we start running into trouble causing loss of vision that's not reversible with glasses or lasers. So it's a big problem which we need to address. So here at my eye clinic about four or five years ago, we realized that there were no facilities for children who were developing myopia. And worldwide, there's a great deal of information showing what can be done to either prevent myopia in the first place or to slow down how fast it's progressing. But there was nothing here in the United Kingdom. So eventually we decided we needed to do something. So we started the myopia control clinic. So now we have hundreds of children attending our myopia control clinic. There are three main aspects to how we manage children with myopia. The first is their lifestyle, which I'll come to shortly. The second is how you correct their myopia. The best way is to wear nighttime contact lenses. This is called Ortho-K, and children who wear Ortho-K have the best control of their myopia. Next is contact lenses or special glasses, which control the myopia almost as good, but not quite as good as Ortho-K. The second aspect of control is the use of atropine eye drops. Atropine eye drops at very low concentrations have been shown to be safe and effective in controlling the rate at which the myopia progresses. And certainly in China and the Far East, almost all children who are myopic are using atropine. So here at my eye clinic, we have atropine drops in different strengths. When you come to the clinic, we will examine you and look at the whole story and see what the situation is. And then with you decide what strength is most appropriate for your child. We know from scientific studies that children who spend more time outdoors are fitter, healthier, more agile. But the most important thing we can do to control the myopia progression is moving what we do indoors to outdoors. Too much of 21st century living is indoors and the human eye, in fact, the human being is not designed to be living indoors. We know from research that the more time the child spends outdoors in natural daylight, the less likely they are to be myopic in the first place and for their myopia to progress much more slowly if they spend more time outdoors. There are other health benefits from being outdoors as well. We know from scientific studies that children who spend more time outdoors are fitter, healthier, more agile, fewer problems with mental health and better at building relationships with their peers.